everyone, this is Paul Gale from paulgalenetwork.com and thank you for joining me today for Video Game News. It is July 13th, 2021 and these are the top stories of the day. To kick things off, courtesy of IGN.com, we have a cool 1 minute 42 second trailer of Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl to check out together. I saw a couple of images so I know a little bit of who's going to be in it, but otherwise this is my first time watching the trailer itself with you. It's a fighting game coming out this fall, and it's got characters from Nickelodeon in it. So let's check this out together, okay? Should be cool. Get ready for it. Michelangelo. That's awesome. That's what I saw first. So I was like, sweet, very loud. Powder Toast Man. I like the character animations, so Cheeks is in it, with your Nickelodeon favorite, Patrick Star. As the characters are moving around, they seem to be well animated. Oblina, Nigel Thornberry. It looks like Super Smash Brothers style of fighting, but don't know the input necessarily. Lucy, SpongeBob SquarePants. Elga, Raptor, Raptor, and Battle with Friends. Invader Zim, Zim, Danny Phantom, Leonardo. Right on. Plus many more surprises. Pretty cool variety of levels, I guess. Good amount of characters to show off. Wow, this looks nice. Available Fall 2021. And everything's covered. PlayStation 4 and 5, Nintendo Switch, Xbox Series X, S, and 1. Okay. Cool, not a bad trailer. That's a pleasant little surprise for today. Um, yeah, it'll be interesting to find out a little bit more. Like, will there be some cross-play between platforms? And what other characters will show up? Any Ninja Turtle villains? That's the IP that, of the ones shown, I would like to see you know, more representation from. Some bad guys would be cool. Rocksteady, Bebop, Shredder, something like that. Um, some Ninja Turtle levels, if they could cram a few in there, would be cool. Run and Stimpy, that would be nice also. Um, yeah, that was fun. You'll have to let me know what you think. Who do you want to see? Are you interested at all? Because that's kind of a nice little debut. All right, moving on. This is something we got to talk about. WADA just certified this Super Mario 64 perfectly sealed game that ended up getting close to a perfect score of a 9.8 and then sold for 1.5 million dollars. This is coming just several days after a copy of The Legend of Zelda on NES sold for $870,000 and several months after earlier this year Super Mario Brothers sold for $670,000. So we've got 600 almost 900 and now 1.5 million three big nintendo games one after another just breaking records left and right staggering really makes you wonder how high can things go and you know who's out there buying these there are pieces of art for sure but you can find you know boxed versions of these in the aftermarket online such as ebay um, still in good condition with workable cartridges and stuff but i guess truly something that's never opened and is still you know like mint condition as it would be if you bought it from you know best buy target toys r us back in the day in this case back in 1996 and you know, someone kept it in perfect condition all that time. There is something extra unique about that, 
1.5 million that's tremendous i'm proud i mean i think it's fantastic that makes the worth of the games that we own whether our versions are opened or not sealed or not if we have the box if we have relatively good condition of them with the workable cartridges and instruction booklets and all that then hey you know your collection of these classic nintendo games across nes super nes and nintendo 64 more valuable so very cool bring it on let's see some other games um, enter these charts and hopefully some more nintendo titles continue to break records i wonder what would top this my guess would be like a I mean, after seeing Super Mario 64 go for this high, my guess of what next that could top it would be possibly The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, a sealed, original, gold, shiny edition cover of that game, perhaps sometime around 2023, just two years away, when that game reaches its 25th anniversary, if one comes up and sells, maybe before then though, but yeah, that would be my guess. All right. And finally, today in Video Game News with Polygale Network, we have the Tag Heuer watch to check out. This is the Super Mario Brothers watch. I talked about it several days ago. And here's the final thing. Before it was just a tease, if you remember. And now you actually get to see the watch itself. So it is indeed a smart watch. It has a very nice looking vibrant screen. Mario moves on it throughout the day. He'll animate. It will tell you the time. You'll be able to select different images of how you want the clock to display digital, analog, hybrid. Mario moves around. He is there for you as you achieve different goals in the day, like whether it's a specific amount of calories that you've burned projected from movement to steps and it's of a good quality good build watch some of these mario animations look pretty new check out a couple of these it's a very nice watch it tells you the steps right here as you can see pretty active person 24,000 steps in the day it's very nice it's such a high quality screen that it looks like you're actually checking out the innards of the watch Pretty cool stuff. Yeah, I love it. I was mentioning, you know, when I originally played the teaser of it that it would have to be a really cool watch for me to get because, you know, being an Apple Watch owner, that has become my main watch. And even with the nice watches that I do have besides it, it's kind of hard to just go about wearing them on a daily basis because the Apple Watch is so useful for other reasons you know my fitness is through that watch tracking my calories during my martial arts demonstrations as i swim as i run and so and so forth so this is something cool enough that also is a smart watch and has some health items to it we could hit play right here and see what we get you can see Mario jumping around the screen and stuff there will be a limited amount of these made only a couple thousand and that actually also brings us up to the price which you have to register here for if you want the opportunity to buy it but that segue of 2000 being made also goes into the price this thing is going to cost a couple thousand dollars yeah about 200 bucks, $2,000. Comes in a really nice case. Very, very highly collectible. Pulse measurement made out of sapphire crystal. It's water resistant, which is good because I would swim in it. GPS localization. And then you get into their other watches. You know, for $2,000, I would say 
it's probably going to be something that's worth owning. It's still going to have that charge time of a couple hours to get it to 100% and that wearability time in between char charges of like 24, 25 hours. So it is something that you're going to have to keep on top of. Hopefully when it ever gets to that point where the battery is not sufficient, it's easy to replace or they provide some kind of alternative way to elongating it. Elongating it. But uh, 2000 bucks is going to be a pretty hefty pill to swallow. So I don't think I'm going to get it. If it was a couple hundred, I would because it did meet my expectations and exceeded them of what would it take for me to get a cool you know relatively expensive watch especially when I own one already this I would wear would it replace the Apple watch completely you know depending on how deep the exercise mechanics of it goes possibly but at two thousand dollars I think it's going to be too much for me that I'm going to pass up on and uh, that's okay it would be nice to have though because i love super mario brothers but mm, it's for a little bit different of a market so if you're going to get it let me know what you think because it does look pretty awesome all right that's going to do today for video game news with paul yale network let me know what you thought of nickelodeon's new fighting game super mario 64 selling for 1.5 million dollars or this mario watch should i get it i don't know I've got some high collectible statues coming up soon also which cost quite a bit but I guess it's the size of the statues that seem to be worth more than something smaller like this in a watch but then again you know it is a pretty awesome watch and made of good components so uh, more expensive things don't necessarily have to be bigger but I guess when you buy something that's not necessary like a statue or a watch when it's bigger the perceived value seems more justifiable i don't know <laughs> anyways that's going to do it today for video game news with paul yell network like i said thank you for watching it's a little bit shorter of a news day today but i still appreciate your time and hope you had fun all right take it easy everybody talk to you later bye